Hey guys, I'm on the ride, and as you may know, Cedar Point closed Topdale Dragster for the 2022 season to evaluate its future at the park. And at first, I was thinking that they would reopen Topdale Dragster with some safety improvements, but it would, you know, get back up and running for a couple more years or so. But now I'm starting to doubt myself, and there's been rumors backing that up, but no evidence. And that's my next point is, all information in this video is just like speculation and rumors, except for the fact that Top the Dragster is closed for the 2022 season. So just remember that it's all rumors. Nothing is confirmed by the park or like an official source. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I've heard a lot of people say that the reason Top the Dragster, or the reason they think Top the Dragster is not gonna open again is because Cedar Point isn't doing anything to it to improve it to make it safe and open again but I haven't really focused on that the thing I'm focusing on is the rumor that like a few trains were sent to Knott's Berry Farm for replacement parts for accelerator and the reason I want to say this rumor is true is because accelerator was closed for a while and many people believed that it was because it was missing a part that they couldn't find and if you have an intimate accelerator model at Cedar Point that isn't operating or you're considering moving it, why not send the parts from Cedar Point to Knott's Berry Farm? And the reason I want to say that is true is because of accelerator being closed for maintenance and for it to just getting back up. I know I saw Coastiverse post that it was open the other day, so maybe the parts were found on top of the dragsters trains and sent to Knott's Berry Farm so Accelerator could open and if they are doing that with top the dragsters trains why would they send the trains away if they're keeping top the dragster at the park which I think that's the only rumor that is really making me doubt it um like I said I had heard some people say that the reason it's getting removed is because they're doing nothing about it and while that can show that it's getting removed but I feel like the fact that the trains or the rumor of the trains being sent to Knott's Berry Farm is more has more evidence backing up behind it but it's not confirmed yet but that really makes me think that Topville Dragster will be closed for good. But the reason for that being is because the timing just feels right of Accelerator being closed down for maintenance and the rumor of Top Thrill Dragster trains being sent to Knott's Berry Farm so Accelerator could open back up. And just like what I was saying a minute ago, if you're gonna send trains away from a roller coaster to use for parts for another roller coaster, you're 99% not gonna open that roller coaster back up because you've already sent parts away and you're not going to get those parts back. So, I really hope that Cedar Point does like a special event where it's a Last Riders event. Maybe you get, it's like Coaster Mania, I don't know. You get to buy tickets and go ride Top Dale Dragster for the first time. Or just a normal day where they're like, this is the last day of operation for Top Dale Dragster. If they do close it, I want to have a last chance to ride it because I've never ridden it before. And it would be sad to see this go without any Last Riders events, so I was, I don't know, maybe they could have the queue like in the midway because of what happened just for this special Last Riders event. I really hope they do something like that, but I really don't think that's going to happen. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you still have hope that Top Dale Dragster will open back up, or like me, you're leaning towards that it's not going to open back up anymore. So yeah, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed.